put a big circle around Ryan Williams. He's the man that's impressed Danny DiCchio stepping in in some of the situations where Jope is most needed. He'll be the factor tonight. And on the other side for Memphis 901 FC, presented by Fort Pontchartrain, the official hotel partner of DC FC. Local kid in the starting 11, Dylan Borzak, played his high school soccer at Detroit Western International Eastern Conference table. The referee whistle sounds, and we are underway. Neil Rule, John Krieger, here with you at Historic Keyworth Stadium. Pinning Detroit City back, it's the same thing we saw from Tampa Bay last week. They are trying to make Detroit City come out and play through them. What they really want to do is take them away from playing out of the back. Corner sent in and headed over top of the frame. Maybe Sasunko was the target, six foot two. That ball played back to Tyler Derrick. Good job over there by Santos. Keeping the possession. And the way they're setting up, this is not a primary attack. I think this is going to be flicked back in. They're going to try to get it into the mixing bowl and let it bounce around. Towards the back post, and it's headed up ahead. And Nate Steinwasher will come off the line and make the grab. And Nate's looking to go. Wings it out to Michael Bryant. City, they have some numbers. That ball slotted up ahead. Can Williams get on the end of it? Reese Williams taken down from behind. And this could be a booking. And it will be. Elvis Amo comes back and takes it away. Amo makes a turn. Amo into the 18, goes down. And the foul will be called. And another booking. And another booking. It's college soccer at North Carolina. He was the first ever to go from the developmental academy DCFC Sports Information Director Jared Maki on the call for that one. Proud Michigan State product. Trying to keep that record going and get their way to a national final next week. Flicked up ahead on Mensa. Able to take control. Look out on the backside. Borzak locked up with Bryant. Bryant turns him away. Here comes Williams with Reese Williams. And there's a giveaway by Carroll. And this is trouble for Memphis. Turning, shooting off the crossbar. And it almost turns deadly. That's a pass that needs more on it. A great one touch. And yeah, that just rattles the bar. <laughs> I, didn't want, yeah. I didn't want to out you like that, but you did it to yourself. I've seen that too many times. Michael Bryant. Played it up ahead. Duncan tries to step through with it and does. Duncan hands it on the string, and then Michael Bryant turned off the water. You can you can feel a change. You can feel the intensity pick up. Well, part of that's because you get in, you go into the team room with a lead. It completely changes the dynamic, and is so it's seismic in the way it can change a game. And now. Oh, that's a shove in the corner there. Borzak squaring up with Bryant. There's a yellow card out. So this will certainly be the end. Suzoko will serve this towards the 18. So fly to the right side, headed down. Amomenta clears it out. Villanueva locked up. And with that, the whistle sounds, 45 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we are goalless. The first 45 minutes of play, a bit of a surprise, John. That foot race, and he got there. He had the better angle, though, and made the most of it. Cross in, Stephen Carroll cuts it out. Connor Ward, 1v1 against Reese Williams. Couple of stutter steps. Reese Williams gives no ground. There's an opportunity, ball called, it's Steinwasher! Goes vertical to make the stop! So throw in coming now for Memphis. 
while we're sending greeting, if I may. A hello to good friend Pat Host watching out in Washington, D.C. today. You're going to see players that are fouled take a moment and get up. It's not that Memphis 901 are playing for the draw. Far from it. What they're trying to guard against is the city keeping that rhythm that they got going on, and they want to be able to restart on their terms. Michael Bryan in the mix. Dustin Paul comes up to play it. Paul ping to the middle. Bezerra knocks it down nicely. Yazid Matthews. Ben Morris making a run as well. Yazid Matthews. It's a 3v2. Yazid touches it. Morris 1v1. Morris lets it go and bangs it off the post. Requires some medical attention. And that's Bezerra just, or Yazid Matthews just shucking a guy off the ball. Plays it out wide. Morris steps in and rattles it off the outside of the post. Boy, Derek was beaten cleanly. Could only look back and hope. That'll hurt. Murphy, who played for the United States U-20 national team, made his debut for LF LAFC against Borussia Dortmund in a friendly back in 2018. It's a heck of a way to make your professional debut. Jimenez curls that one up. Amu Mensa heads it away, and there's an opportunity! And Memphis takes the 1-0 lead on the side volley as that ball was just tucked in underneath the crossbar. Steinwasher got a hand to it, couldn't keep it out. And Nate Steinwasher may be hurt. And Memphis, 901 FC. Beautiful. Standings wise, you're now behind. You need to try to figure out a way to rescue that point. These are the ones that count when it gets to the business end of the season. And Came in and he had, to, he had to jump higher than he thought he would have to. Carroll tracks back. Lapa sends it back into the 18, stepping up. Kizaza shots redirected. Derek getting in yellow card territory here. But that's the chair that they have in the game right now. And there is the final whistle. And Memphis 901 gets a 1-0 win over Detroit City FC in Keyword.